for you people that might have gotten some bad bearings, uh, this is what I did. I, I took a socketed head screw that fits inside there. You have to be careful. I guess something that fits inside that upper lip and uh, start banging against that. I happen to put a hex key in there and start beating on the back of my hex key to push the bearings down. Maybe Sobo will be good enough to release the files for the fifth or sixth time I asked. Um, yeah, back to the printer. This is probably a print that I should have made weeks ago instead of today. Now that we have our little Z issues uh, fixed, this was the first print I got after we fixed our Z. So let's take a look at what we got. This is Fat Dragon Game Profile uh, model printed upside down, of course. Typical Paul Feeney style. The modeler, uh, Sidney Qui, he decided to really get creative on this model. All of the hair points are standing up off of the model, so I'm going to have to do a lot of cleanup work to get these supports off. Anywho, 0 0.6 nozzle, uh, 0 0.15 layer height, which is definitely out of my uh, comfort range, but that's all right. I didn't feel like changing a nozzle. <laughs> uh, a little bit under extruded. I should probably have uh, did a recalibration on my extruder, which I didn't. This profile tends to run a little bit lean, so we got some tiny little uh, under extrusion lines there. But besides from that, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. Simultaneously, while this print was running, I did another print on the SV01 Pro. This one actually looks a little better now. Uh, well, just because of extrusion, I don't know. Later. It is the same exact file. It's just, um, used on both machines, so... Uh, SV01. Don't get them mixed up, people. Maybe I should put a little uh, marker pen mark on there, but this one looks a little bit better. Not sure who this character is. I just print stuff. He looks interesting. He had a nice squared off face, so that's, that's why I was interested in printing that one. Yeah, you got nothing better to do with your time, huh? Just print stuff. I'm going to print the jacket. Uh, there is a nice jacket that goes with this. We'll do that. Maybe that's where I'll tune in my uh, extrusion rate. Because like I said, this is definitely running a little bit lean. <sighs> All right, people. Take care. Happy printing. Let's go send a uh, message over to Mae Young to release the files for these uh, plastic parts. I know my Z bracket is not square. I'd like to fix that. So, and then people who are having problems with these, you know, it might be easier just to print another one. You know, stick a new bearing in here. Be all set. I don't know, some people are not having Z problems. I, uh, I did. Alrighty, I gotta clean off these supports. Uh, Sid made my life a little more difficult this time. And we're gonna do another, uh, E-step calibration on the extruder. We'll get this looking actually be even better. That's my goal, you know, is to come up with a beautiful print. I guess I could just stick a 0 0.4 nozzle in there and just print that 0.1 layer height. <laughs> That's usually a print so everybody's like, wow, it looks like a resin printing. Yeah. Take care. Happy printing.